we're just one away from winning. And he's right here. And he just gave up. He just gave up. He's looking at that sunset. I mean, it is a pretty nice sky, honestly. What? Bro, <laughs> he just shoots me once, looks away. Sure, buddy. Sure, you didn't see me there. Sure, okay. And, uh, yeah, he just he just gave up. He just gave up. That's it. We, we clapped him so hard that that's it. Waiting for me to execute him. Big feels bad, man. Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Trident here back again with another COD Mobile video. And in today's video, I will be giving you the ultimate guide to get on this 100 plus win streak in 1v1 duels. That's right, 100 plus win streak. It only shows 50 here, but you know, I did go over 100. So yeah, I did work hard on this video. So if you could like the video, subscribe if you're new and enjoy the video. Make sure you select Saloon on the game mode selection tool, not 1v1 duel, because we're only going to be going over Saloon in this video, not Kill House. So for my first class, I have the DLQ 33 with a silencer, agile, and dead silence. And I do use ghost, but you can use hardwired if you like to avoid trip mines. My next class, I have the RUS, but you can really use the Cordite if you like it better. I just like the RUS better with Dead Silence, Lightweight, and a Grenade. My third class is my Assault Rifle class. I have the BK-57 as a high fire rate, you guys know. Uh, Agile, Lightweight, and a Trip Mine with Ghosts, obviously. My fourth class is mainly my Knifing class, and I'll show you guys everything in the video but i do have a combat axe hopefully you have it unlocked feels big feels bad for the people who don't have it unlocked a concussion but you can use the cryo cryo bomb if you like i don't know how to pronounce that and yeah with lightweight of course and then our last class is the pharaoh class our second smg class pharaoh dream crystal we have lightweight dead silence and a grenade and this is going to come really handy in the future make sure you watch the entire video one of two good spots on this map is underneath the stairs but make sure you only use it once and then rotate right out after you kill them and another good spot is outside of this window you can get behind this window make sure they don't see you when they jump out and then you can tap them once and there you go movement now i'm probably going to make a video just by itself on movement but here i wanted to say that i missed all my shots and it's okay i'm gonna retreat get cover re recuperate and you know i i missed a lot of shots there again but pay attention to what i'm doing right now i killed him in that in that corner near that that's what i call the camper corner behind that uh cottage i don't know what to call it but uh i rotated immediately as i killed him and here i'm using this uh hay cart as good cover and i'm able to actually hit my shots i'm actually able to hit my shots there and here this guy spawned out on that corner and that's because i was on the other corner i was on the opposite corner and here just using just using that jump shot skills that's how you do it now i didn't show you the full clip for this guy but this guy was drop shotting every single gunfight and it's good to jump shot and drop shot but don't do it to the point where it becomes repetitive and predictable this guy excessive drop shots my man like Bruh, every look at this dude. single gunfight it's gonna get repetitive now really quickly i wanted to show you how you can avoid someone drop shotting just jump shot over them they're not gonna be able to catch up with you trident what should i do on the first kill of the first round don't worry, I got you. Use the Pharaoh. And then you go here, zigzag. He's gonna think you're going one way. You go the other, boom, free kill. Every single time, every single time. That never disappoints. Now, something I wanted to say is eventually when you use the Pharaoh too much, or no, I wouldn't say too much, but after like two kills, they're gonna start playing passive. And the Pharaoh's only good at close range. So what you can do is you can pull out your grenade, pick your uh, Cordite class or the RUS class, hold the grenade, hold it hold it hold it don't be afraid to kill your i'm not gonna say that actually yet but you you know what i'm saying 
And now you can take those longer range gun fights with the RUS, with the Cordite. And one thing I wanted to say is it's not only good for the RUS for that second kill, it's also good for very close matches. You see here it's four kills, four deaths. This guy's camping so hard, trying to hit me long shots. Take out the sniper, boom, done. For the second round, your enemy is going to see this screen, but for this segment in the video, I'm going to be showing you what to do if your enemy picks rifle. Now, in the class setup, I chose the BK-57 for my rifle loadout, but you just use any rifle that you're most comfortable with. Now, here I am using cover effectively, and here I know that he's going to spawn over there, and I'm able to hear that he's going to be coming over the other side, so here able to pre pre fire boom easy kill um here he drop shots drop shots how you do, how do you counter drop shots i already told you just jump shot and he won't be able to catch up with you so you can jump shot you can drop shot but just use all your senses use the movement everything i showed you and you'll be able to outsmart him what should you do if the enemy chooses sniper well i got you first thing you want to do is get really close to them that's what i i that's how i snipe honestly snipers are most comfortable at longer ranges but if you're able to get close to them jump shot drop shot um not really drop shot but after you shoot duck get on the ground go prone like here that's what i'm talking about make sure he doesn't uh watch my how to snipe like a pro video i'll link that on screen right now just make sure you watch that really that's how you if you're good quick scoping, that's how you're gonna dominate. Just like that. Just like that. What should you do if they pick LMGs? I got you. Now, LMGs are one of the two where you really want to do, where you want to drop shot and jump shot a lot. And why is that? Because people with LMGs are gonna have very slow reaction times because the LMG is a very slow weapon. So here, I know he's here. I jump shot, drop shot, easy, just easy. And by the way, I have forgot to say, always pick the RPD. They're always going to give you an RPD class. You don't have to make it. Just pick the RPD. It's, it's, the, it's the best assault, uh, the best LMG. Here, jump shot, drop shot, jump shot, jump shot. Just using that skill. Again, tutorial coming soon for two finger and three finger players on how to do what I just did. So if you're struggling with that, I got you. The video's coming. Back to the game. He knows I want on both sides to get him. So why not just jump on here in the middle? Outsmart him. If they dare to pick SMGs, that's just a free, that's a free kill. That's a free 5-0 or, you know, free clapping right here. With the slide and the jump, huge movement boost. Now, I know he's going to be spawning in that general direction. So he tries to go over there. Boom, jump shot, drop shot. There you go, outplayed. Next up, shotguns. With the shotguns, you generally want to use the shotgun you're most comfortable with so for this one i used this shotgun in my last video so i was the most skilled with it recently so that, that's what i decided to use the gun i used most recently here throw down a trip mine i didn't make this class i don't really generally like to use trip mines because that's kind of a new move but here with the jump shots uh, just outplayed outplayed throw down a trophy system because he might be throwing something down i don't know it looks like he's behind here able to jump shot jump shot jump shot again and yeah outplayed now i did want to show you some drop shots so here with drop shots are so effective this is what i'm talking about the two classes that are jump shots and drop shots are going to be most effective is going to be shotguns and lmgs so here we go this guy's behind me missing so many shots but we're able to pull him off there you go. That's how you do it. Pistols. What do you do if they select pistols? I got you. Now, you can use your uh, Tomahawk class because they're going to give you a pistol here. And uh, I'm able to kill him. He actually, uh, I told him to pick pistols for the second round. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. You don't have to use your Tomahawk all the time, but it, it is a good tool for the pistols generally you don't want to have anything that's suppressed so here i'm able to get him nice and flawlessly and uh we're on the two streak already 
and uh, the J358 always pick the J358 and uh, the thing you, you want to do with uh, these <laughs> here I shoot them once and then I just run around the other other side with the jump shots so effective so effectively yeah you, you just use that skill jump shots are definitely more effective with the pistol than drop shots that that's that's kind of given because you're running around a lot with something that you run around here this guy I hit him with the drop shot okay 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 <laughs> look at his name yeah okay sure buddy nice name nice name we're gonna 5-0 him he's gonna leave now he's gonna leave what if they choose melee I got you so if they choose melee you generally want to have a longer range knife like the axe or the ice pick or the clown bat or the hachi but uh a regular nice knife works just fine and it's all about the timing honestly obviously as you know but some tips if they're chasing you you can kind of run around the corner and then wait for them and then knife them once or you can use your tomahawk and this is what i'm saying the tomahawk is so effective the combat axe is what it's called in this game it's so effective for knifing. It gives you such a big advantage here. He hadn't, he didn't see that coming any day of the week, any day. That was just the biggest clap ever. Oh my God. But uh, I think he is going this way. No, 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 he's to my left. There we go. Trident, how do you outskill launchers? Well, I got you. So the general movement pattern for launchers is you want to shoot and then jump. And the reason why you do this is because launchers on the ground, rockets on the ground work the same way as gravity spikes. If they shoot the ground right next to you while you're jumping, they're not going to be able to kill you. Now, if you use your fourth class that I made in the loadout section, you'll have lightweight and a tomahawk. And that comes really handy. Third round strategy. If you lost one of the rounds, don't worry, you can still win the match. And uh, just use your most dominant class, whether that be the sniper, the assault rifle, or the SMG. For me, it's the SMG, as you know, but the Pharaoh, it's kind of dominant. So yeah, just go back and win the match. One last tip for you is if you're clapping him, if you're, if you're absolutely dominating here, I'm 9 0. You don't have to talk crap about him. Have a good day. You know, that's it. That's how you do it. Hi, you know, be friendly. And that's how you're going to win a lot more. And you're going to be happy. I mean, I feel like a life coach right now, but <laughs> that's how I play it. Just be fair, be, be nice. And that's how you do it. But anyways, that's going to conclude today's video. I hope you did enjoy the video. The knife only uh, qualifier video is coming out very soon within the, ne within the next day. So stay tuned for that. And subscribe if you're new because we're on the road to 1000 subscribers but yeah that's gonna wrap up today's video i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one peace